Hi guys, I am here today at SeaWorld Orlando. It is Monday, August 6th, and right behind me is the Infinity Falls vehicle. It'll be opening soon. I think they're almost done. They're just kind of like testing it. And yeah, so I want to start off by showing you guys the Infinity Falls um, vehicle. So it'll be pretty exciting when that thing opens. Right now, I'm about to enter the park. I haven't been here since April. I didn't realize they moved the, the security. So right now I'm gonna try to focus on entering the park and I'll get back to you guys once I've entered the park. It took literally less than a minute to enter the park. That's a good sign. So now let's head on in and see what we can do from here. I can see they've started to change the map a little bit. They kind of have Infinity Falls on here now. Um, it's not open yet. Um, and they removed some of the shoe and Happy Harbor stuff. And one other thing that's really cool, over here, they got rid of this. Like back, last time I was here, they had like a bunch of like the huge tent because that store is being remodeled and um, they had all the stuff out here, but that store has since opened up and now it's a nice open pathway again. Good for the, for the summer crowds. So first up, we're gonna head over and ride Kraken. Um, I'm gonna see what's going on there. I've heard the VR has returned to Kraken, so I wanna see if it's actually true. But I've heard some days it's also been down. I can start seeing Manta's doing a flyby right here. There you go. Definitely want to ride Manta later on today. And I'm also, the park's open till 9.30, so I'm gonna be here until the park closes. And maybe get some night rides on some of these roller coasters. We are now at the Jury to Atlantis area. Let's take a look and see what the line is at Jury to Atlantis. I feel like someone's about to come down. I can feel it. There they go. Here's the light for Jake to list. Oops! 55 minutes! Ouch! That's no bueno. Well, I'm gonna try to ride that one a bit later when it's dark. But here it is. Kraken Unleashed. I've heard stories about the VR coming back. I heard it's back, but but like it's on the headset, like the headsets are on the cars. But I've also heard that um, they removed it temporarily. And yeah, look, Spot Saver right here. It looks like it, they're not running Spot Saver today. So it doesn't look like the VR is running on Kraken. Oh yeah, they have the headsets on there, but no one's riding it with the VR. So I'm pretty sure it's down right now, but we're still gonna go ride Kraken because it's, it's one of the best coasters I've ever ridden. We're getting almost to the station. Um, I didn't realize that Kraken actually has a, like an Easter egg from when the ride first opened in 2000. Oh, uh, you missed a fly by right there. Get to see the time right here, it's 5.30. Sorry, 5.53 p.m. I'm gonna try to move the back row because it's my favorite spot. Oh, they, I didn't realize they had like, signs are gone. It's pretty crazy. Or placed in the locker. Oh, nice. No one's in line for the back row. I am going to the back row. Then. Okay, you can see, like, that one has no video headsets, that one doesn't, but the rest do. Pretty cool stuff. So, yeah. No VR, VR. Simple as that. I just rode Crack and Unleashed. Um, that wasn't as good as I remembered, of all honesty. Um, it was still pretty fantastic, um, but it wasn't as intense this go around. Um, I ain't gray out at all. Um, the layout is still cool. It was definitely much smoother this time, but overall, it's still a fantastic roller coaster. I love the inversions, especially that zero G roll. That was an awesome moment. And yeah, it's still an amazing ride. And I love how, because there's no VR today, um, I love how there's no VR right now, just right now. I'd, they'll probably bring it back, but right now there's no VR, so fantastic operations today. I was like, we are gonna get a flyby real quick. There comes the train right there, and down the tunnel, and then go through the corkscrew right there. So fantastic roller coaster. I highly recommend it. Now on to, um, I think we're gonna ride Manta next or Mako. I don't know, but. See what we do from there. Here comes the most disappointing moment of the experience. No eggs. I remember when they had all the eggs back here and stuff. Yeah, the original Kraken eggs. 
But I mean, the theming is still nice and only 10 minute, but it's really a walk on. Coverages are fantastic today. Now on to Manta. Heck yeah, baby. Oh, uh, I need to tell a funny story real quick. Someone actually thought I was Coaster Studios. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not Coaster Studio. I do find it funny though, because I mean, I am wearing a Coaster Studios shirt today, but I'm not Coaster Studios. But I mean, anyway, Taylor, if you're watching this, props to you, dude. Love your merch and I love your channel as well. You inspire me. But yeah, anyhow, we're gonna ride, in my opinion, my fair flying coaster, Manta. It is fantastic. It's got some great inversions, um, pretty smooth overall as well. And also like, I'm gonna try to get the back row, back row is G-Force heaven. So yeah, I really love Manta. It's better than his Superman clones. I still have yet to experience Tatsu at Six Flags Magic Mountain. I still have yet to experience that. But I mean, Manta's gonna be a hard flying coaster to beat in my book. And we're about to arrive at now. Kind of see it right there. Such a beautiful roller coaster. I mean, take a second to admire this. It's absolutely gorgeous. And it, like the soundtrack even makes it look more beautiful. And after Mantel will ride Mako. And, and maybe I'll check out some of the construction updates with uh, Infinity Falls and uh, Sesame Street area. I heard they're adding Sesame Street to SeaWorld. I'm not really excited about that, the drag Sesame Street, but I mean, if they are adding it, they are. Um, but I wish, I kind of wish I had the Seamus Happy Harbor because, you know, you know, that fits in with SeaWorld and there we have Sesame Street at Busch Gardens. So yeah, I'll, I'd really be curious to see what they retheme, man, sorry, Shame Express to. I'd like to see what they retheme it to. We'll walk over there later on, but now we're really at Manta and we're going to ride it going up the lift there and this is one of the most like one of the best plazas of any coaster because <laughs> you also have an aquarium to it as well so yeah we're about to arrive in the entrance this also has a very beautiful queue line too with the stingrays and all I'll show you guys once we get inside so center Manta dang it I totally missed the flyby but who cares? We're getting into the beautiful line right here. I'll say, let me get some water. Hot day today. You can see, look, place. Look at all the yeah, there's some sharks there too, and then some fish. Ladies and gentlemen, riders of this attraction will be exposed to fierce speeds. There's like a little temple here as well. It's really beautiful. I didn't realize they had more fish over here. It's like a little coral reef and stuff. Oh, there's a stingray right here. Look at that. We're about to fly a stingray, guys. Check this out. That was an awesome See, that's a good fly. That's a great fly. Do not fly. Do more fishies. Fish! Some more fish right there! And we enter this way to get to our cherry dip. Look at this, literally a walk on. There's no one here at Manta. We're about to board on our chariot. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. And look, three train operations. Thumbs up for that. Just rode Manta. That was fantastic. I really enjoyed that. For some reason this ride, for some reason ran much stronger than Kraken did. I mean, I for Kraken still, but I really enjoyed this go around on Manta. It's very intense, and that red loop was madness. Next up, I am going to ride Mako, the BM hyper coaster. It is no longer my favorite hyper coaster. Still my favorite BM hyper, but of all the hypers, no longer my favorite because I recently rode Skyrush. And I'll explain it more once we get over there. Does it really look like there's a huge line for Mako? Sorry, um, Sky Tower, but... And I know there's no line for Mako, but... 
But later I might get to do Sky Tower. You might want to try that one out to get a good update of Infinity Falls. We'll walk over there later on and take a look at Infinity Falls. And maybe soon we'll get dinner as well. But next up I'm gonna head over and ride. Mako! Best BM hyper coaster around. Long time no see, Mako. It's been such a long time since I've been here. I realize they brought back the uh, Hop Bubble Show. I've seen it before and it's it's an alright show. But I mean it's great for uh it's great for the summer. Oh yeah, love to see this. Only a five minute wait for Mako. That's what I love to see. That means I could literally marathon this coaster over and over again. I really like the queue line too. I love how like you can hear like that it's very smooth. And this is in my opinion the smoothest roller coaster. So sorry, Mako, that you're no longer my favorite hyper coaster. Skyrush beat you, but don't worry, Mako, I still love you. Such a great ride. Back row, in my opinion, is the best spot on this roller coaster. Such a great spot. It's the best airtime in the back. So, Mako. So, I just rode Mako. That ride is still incredible, even though it's no longer my favorite hyper coaster. Now, now belongs, like I said earlier, to Skyrush. But I mean, it's still my favorite BM hyper because um, Skyrush is an Intamin. But that ride is still incredible. It got some incredible airtime, especially in the back. And it was incredibly smooth, some great air. So, overall, fantastic. And now we're in the gift shop. So that was amazing right now I'm gonna to try to do the sky tower one thing that I heard about sky tower which we're heading that way right now is that um it, I don't I, it's I'm not sure how exactly it works but I've heard that I don't think I'm, I'm not sure how exactly it works but like I think if you're not a pass holder I think you have to pay that's just why I think it is I don't know I could be wrong we'll have to see once we get over there I just kind of think that right now but yeah um, I think like if you're a pass holder, it's free. It's just that's just my guess. I could be wrong though, but let's just walk over to Sky Tower to see what's up. But I think if you're a pass holder, it should be free. I remember for six years they did free admission and they got rid of the free admission, so now they have to pay two dollars, I think, to ride it. I mean, I don't, I don't know, but this is just I think from what I've heard. Okay. This is what it is. So for two and under, it's free. And also one year, two year, and platinum pass holders are free as well. And then I have a pass, so free. But if you just have a plane admission, it's $3 to ride. But I'm a pass holder, so let's go get a ride in. And no line for a sky tower. So we're gonna check it out and see what's up with all the updates on the rides and stuff. So apparently it's now different for the Sky Tower. Now um, you have to walk around to the sandbar. And at the sandbar, it's like a place where you can buy drinks and stuff. You have to, um, that's where you have to pay and you have to get some like ticket kind of thing to ride. And I'm not looking forward to waiting this line because Sky Tower operations are incredibly slow. So that's not good. The good thing, however, is that while you're waiting, you can get an amazing view. And like, look, there's, see, finally got a flyby in Mako. <laughs> this could be the vlog of the flybys or something like that. But you can get a great view of all the rides. Like, there's also flamingo boats there, too. Pretty incredible stuff that you can take a look at and just check and watch while you're waiting for Sky Tower. Hey, to to see. To Look at the walls and towers feet. all complete. We thought it would be helpful to share some sea yeah, world tips on how to make your day even here. more enjoyable. Uh, for your own safety, here. please stay in your seats really, for the entire uh, ride. And no smoking, please. Love a little music. You can tell it's a little on the busy side with all these cars. Oh, 
to see Manta right there. The Sea World has rescued and rehabilitated more than 20,000 animals over the past 50 years. They have. You can learn more by watching our television series, Sea Rescue. Be inspired by the exciting real-life animal rescue stories and gain a better understanding of the rich array of sea That's life a great view of right there. our planet. Watch Sea Rescue this weekend on ABC. There's the uh, Journey to Atlantis right there. I'll try to ride that later when the line's shorter, maybe at night time. And here's Kraken right here. Kraken. Naturally, SeaWorld is known for world-class so aquarium drop collections. Or not, um, Believe it or not, you can find right some here. amazing yeah. aquariums in the yeah, gift yeah. shop yeah. Journey Going to the Atlantis, where sharks circle oh, above you make a and schools of fish swim around you. Here's what we're really here for. Infinity Falls. Wow, look at that. Yeah, the walls are still up, but they're doing some progress. So you can see the workers out there. I can start to see the entrance. No way! The entrance is over there somewhere. Well, we're yeah, just about 300 feet we'll up now. Our and from here you can see and every mile and miles. I know they they made it. That As the cabin rotates, rotate to a grill. keep an eye open for the lush that. tropical looks oasis like from across the street from SeaWorld. That's almost Discovery complete. Cove. That's, That's amazing. We're going to snorkel with Man, waves and exotic fish. Relax on a beautiful beach and even swim alongside dolphins. Climbing area. They don't have shame express running either. Wow, this is an amazing view of uh, so Infinity Falls has definitely made some fantastic progress since I was last year. So I'm really impressed with what's been turning out so far. We're going to have a little bit of a closer look real quick. And maybe go on some more roller coasters or maybe eat. And also I heard that this summer, if you're 21 and up, if you're a figure pass, I don't know if you're, if it's only for pass or not, but this summer you can get two samples of free beer. Um, just like back in the old Anheuser-Busch days, you can get two free samples of beer, which is pretty nice if you're a person who loves drinking. So, so yeah, it goes away September 2nd, so got about a month left if you're watching this in August. So yeah, um, if you wanna experience the free beer, get here soon. Okay, this is Infinity Falls now. I couldn't even see anything when I was here in April because like there was, or March, like whatever, because there was no trees or landscaping, but they have definitely improved. You can definitely start to see that little tower that was recently built. And I don't know what this is right here. I wonder if they use virtual queue. I haven't heard about anything if they're using virtual queue or not, but yeah, just something to note. And then start to see the drop right there. It was there last time I was here. But this is one of the coolest things. The gift shop is now open. White water supply is now open. So you can definitely buy your Infinity Falls souvenirs over here. You wanna check that out? Pretty cool stuff. So yeah, the walls over here are down. So it's pretty awesome. Makes the area feel a little more open. I wonder if there's a little area where you can see like the water testing. I want to find that area. Yeah, just take a moment to admire this beautiful tower right here. It's just amazing. I got my food here. This is a barbecue um, chicken pizza underneath the Manta roller coaster. It's good stuff, my friends. So overall thoughts on the pizza. It kind of tastes like a cafeteria pizza. Not exactly the best thing you'd want to eat at a park. Not, not the worst pizza, I'll give you that, but not my favorite. <laughs> Why'd you throw a napkin at me, Dad? Come on, man. <laughs> now we're gonna go ride the Kraken. Again, maybe it'll be a better ride this time. Hopefully it's more intense and just as smooth. I'm glad it was running smooth this time. I do not have time to wait in this long line right here for Antarctica and Pirate the Penguin. Long is it? We're about to take a look at that right now. It shows the line, right? It is well, five for not right, but 20. It looks longer than 20. Or it could be wrong, I know. Never judge a book by its cover. Sun's so starting to set down. It means, it means some night rides. Hopefully, JTA shows that a shorter line and maybe we'll ride it. 
I'd love to do Joy to last, maybe at night as well. There it is right here. But I'm gonna ride Kraken next. And maybe if Drake Lens is a short line, maybe we could do that after Kraken. I doubt it's any shorter. Well, it's 50. Ooh. Not today. But Kraken, always today. Yeah, man. I don't want to ride this at night. Because it is an amazing night ride. All the way over here is a little Easter egg I was talking about. You see, like right there. June 1st, 2000, that's when Kraken first opened. I just realized they're now showing that little film again. So it definitely tells me that the virtual reality is back, I'm pretty sure, because you can start to see the headsets. Don't know when they'll be in use again, but I heard they were using them in June, so... I think they're using them in July as well. And if you don't want to ride with the VR, you can actually go in rows one, two, and then the back, if you don't want to ride with VR. So yeah, that's what's going on here. Hopefully we get a more intense ride on Kraken now. Just took another ride on the Kraken. Got a much better ride on it. Um, it was a little bit rougher, but it was more intense this go around. So thumbs up for that. I'm gonna check up on, on Jerry to Atlantis and see if I could ride it. Um, maybe if not, I'll come back maybe a bit later in the day. Maybe we'll get a night ride on it. That's what I wanna do. Maybe ride Atlantis, but at nighttime. Maybe I'll go ride Bake again. Maybe I'll just keep riding Kraken again. Maybe I'll try to do Kraken. How about, okay, how about this? I'm gonna try to ride Kraken in the front row. After all, it is one of the best Vietnam looping coasters. Not quite on the level of Kumba though, but it's still an amazing coaster. I remember one time there was a bunch of kids who like climbed all the way up here. Like they were up here, it's pretty, uh, crazy. I'm like, dude, how'd you get up there? That's dangerous. I didn't actually say it to him. I just said it in my head, but it was, but, well, you know, don't do that because it's kind of dangerous. Yeah. That person must be excited for Kraken. It's an awesome ride, dude. You'll love it. So my plan is by 8.15, go on to Atlantis. That's my plan. I feel like the line will be shorter then. See, let's see let, at the line out because I can I tell right now it's 55 minute line. No, it's 35 minutes. Never mind. So that's not too bad. So yeah, I'll probably be shorter by 8:15. So that's when I'll ride it. Or maybe later then. Like I want to ride it towards that nighttime because this ride rocks at night. I love that soundtrack Jerry to Atlantis has as well. And there's a I think next up here to Mako. And I think next will be Mako. So I'm going to head up that way to Mako, maybe get a front row ride on it. And maybe just marathon the Crota thing. Maybe also do Manta. There's a lot we can do at Sea Orlando. You get your souvenir pennies here as well. Nice. Now we're entering the Arctic. Wait, but well, this is Florida. It should be snow here because it's Florida. This whole place, isn't this place supposed to be melted because we're in Florida? It's kind of crazy here. Everyone thinks of Coaster Studios today. No two peop other people have um, been like, there are you Coaster Studios? Everyone's been like that to me. <laughs> I, just kind of, just, I just kind of find it funny because I'm uh, wearing a Coaster Studios shirt. I wish I were Coaster Studios. I wish I had like really beautiful hair and like ridden over 500 coasters. But nope, I'm not. I am. Theme Park Guy Productions, who's written about 109 coasters at the moment. But I mean, I mean, it doesn't really matter how many coasters you've written. It, it just matters that you have fun writing them. That's what I describe it as, as being an enthusiast. It's about having fun. I mean, as much, it's, I mean, it's amazing when you get new credits and all, but for me, it's just all about having fun. But yeah. I'm going to count down how many people think I'm Coaster Studios today. Or three people think I'm Coaster Studios. And by the way, I'm probably much taller than Coaster Studios is. I'm probably a little taller. I mean, I don't know. Ooh, yeah, the sun's starting to get in the shot. But yeah. 
I'm not as good looking as Coaster Studios. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna ride Mako. It's gonna be a lot of fun. I'm gonna try to do it in the front row. I mean, when I went there earlier, the line for the front row wasn't too bad, so that's a good sign, I think. So yeah, I'll let you guys know what we're doing once I get over to Mako. Line got up to 15 minutes. Let's hope they are kidding by seeing people leaving the line. That can't be good. I mean, at least the line's not backed up all the way over here and stuff. That's still a good sign. I mean, I'm still gonna try riding the front row anyways. Maybe, just maybe not like marathoning this. I think maybe after this I might do a wild arctic. I might do that. Or maybe mantle, we'll see. Well, the line goes inside here. It's starting to look even more beautiful. Mega is going up the lift hill right now. And these passengers are about to have the ride of their lives. So just rode Mako, that was amazing, um, great airtime, um, and just overall an amazing experience. I think next I might run over and try Wild Arctic, maybe, I think I might do Wild Arctic. Then head back over, run over to Jersey Atlantis, It'll be a challenge. Line's long for Wild Arctic, so yeah, screw it. I'm gonna try do, I'm gonna try and do, I think, Manta. It's gonna be a long walk. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of walls over by Sesame Street area. That's under construction right now. It does kind of suck that they um, closed down Shamus Happy Harbor for that. But I mean, I mean, I'm pretty sure the kids are gonna love it. But I mean, I feel like Shamus Happy Harbor would fit more with Sea World than Sesame Street. I'd be curious to see how they theme it because I know at Bush Gardens it's. Sesame Street Safari Fun, so I wonder what they do with SeaWorld, like Sesame Street, Ocean Adventure, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Do they do party of one? I don't care if I'm in row six. I just want to ride this. Golf Manta, that was fantastic, but I didn't realize that Lance had a single rider line. Sweet! It's right here. Let's do it. Alrighty. That's amazing. So I just rode to Atlantis, if you can't tell, I'm wet. Um, I rode it at night. That was a great night ride. I can certainly say it's not my favorite night ride anymore. But let's walk over to Kraken. I saw something pretty interesting going on Kraken. One of the cars is actually stuck on the lift. I saw it in to Atlantis. I'm like, oh goodness, I wonder if they're closed for the rest of the night. I'm at right now. I'm just gonna walk up and see what's up, like, just see a look at the car and see if it's, like, broken or anything like that. Because I do want to ride this at night. It is an awesome night ride. But we can if it's, like, all they're testing at least. Okay, at least they're testing it. I'm riding this with my dad later on, so... So I don't want to be disappointed. I think I might ride Manta real quick. Solemn line for Manta, I'm like... No thanks, it's a long line right now. 
so I don't really want to ride right now to what way in the long line. I have to be back up with my family at nine, so I also want to get a ride on JTA where it's darker, so it's even better. That's what I want to do. I mean, I kind of rewrote it at night, so yeah, it's not really a big deal. I've already got two amazing rides on it today. But I love how you underneath the waterfalls. It's really cool, but I understand it's 10 minutes, but it takes a long time once you get up to like the stairs and stuff and it's backed up. So I don't want that to interfere with my time. So I'm to go to the restroom and then ride JTA one more time to meet up at Kraken because I have a feeling it'll open back up. So see, I rode during to Atlantis when the sun was starting to set. Right now, this is the perfect time to ride JTA because the sun is gone and that coaster drop at night. Oh boy, that thing is unbelievable. And yeah, I have a feeling Kraken will open back up. But I'm gonna go ahead and get a night ride on JTA. Like, another one. Like DJ Khaled said, another one. And I think I'm starting to see people go back into Kraken, so I have a feeling that thing just opened back up. So thumbs up for that. But I'm gonna get another ride on a JTA here. I have a boat all to myself. Woo! Night ride on JTA with the boat all to myself. Thumbs up for that. I'm even more wet in the same spot. Took another ride on JTA when the sun was completely gone. So that coaster drop was unbelievable. Super dark, which is amazing. Now we're gonna ride Kraken, and I saw it running with people on it, so we're good to go for Kraken. The rest of my family is there, so I have to meet up with them. We're gonna take a little side trip into the yeah, Jewels of the Sea Aquarium real quick. Some of this fish right here, there are a ton of fish. There's a little quiet area. Takes you down to GT's drop. Look out, you never know when the boat will be coming. There it is. Oh, yeah. On Kraken we go. Anytime we ride on Kraken at night, it is a great night. That's probably one of the single best night rides of any park anywhere. Right up there with uh, the GTA next door and then uh, I was also right there with Everest and Paul. And Riverside Rocket as well. Finally, riding in the front. And there's a little Easter egg right there. And the operations are much better because the VR is not working today. Got my night ride in on Kraken. So much fun at night. And this time was, I got front row. The wind was blowing on my face. That was awesome. It would've been better if the tunnel, like, like you know, the lights, if the tunnel lights were off, it would've been one of the single greatest rides of all time. Loop flyby. That's a loop flyby right there. <clears throat> this is the vlog of the flybys and everyone thinking I'm Coaster Studios. <laughs> so I think now we're ride Mako for the last ride. Um, the park closes in about 15 minutes, so we gotta hustle into Mako. And then watch the night show. The ride is only a five minute line. Time to ride. Am I gonna go in the back row on Mako? Heck yeah, man. It could be amazing. What the heck is going on here? I love this new lighting package. I think that's just for the summer nights. But we got to ride Mako um, with those lights. Like, they were actually, the same thing was happening when we were on the coaster. That ride was unbelievable. That might have been one of the best rides at night just because as we were going up, there was like strobe lighting going on and it just made it 10 times better. It really made like Mako like more scary than it actually is. It was awesome. And I felt like it was gonna fly out. That airtime is nuts for being a hyper. My strength was really loose and it was incredible. That was probably the last ride because the park's just closed. It's 9.30, the park's closed. They probably won't let us on anything else. But it's all good because I can come back here anytime I want.
that was awesome. So the park is now closed, so I'm gonna stop the vlog here just so I can fight through the crowd. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more videos and more vlogs in the future. Also, don't forget to check out the social media link, which will be in the description below. Um, go ahead and check it out. I've been doing my top 25 there. Um, I'll be posting a top 25 video on National Roller Coaster Day, like I keep saying. So yeah, I'm gonna have to fight through the crowd, so I'm just gonna stop here. Um, hope you, hope you guys enjoyed it. See you guys next time. Have a theme tacular day.